Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami, and today I'll show you how I go about designing a perfect SharePoint Internet homepage that looks so good that other departments would want to steal it. Just a bit of context, I build about 100 unique SharePoint designs each year. And around this time last year, I posted a video on how I designed an eye-catching SharePoint homepage. Over 85,000 people have watched it, and many of you have asked for a 2024 sequel. So here we are. For some parts of the design today, I'll be using web parts from Origami to get a specific effect I like. I'll tell you when I'm using those web parts and provide some alternatives in case you don't have Origami. Let's get started. Step one, I always start my page with creating employees by their name. Almost every customer told us that personalized greetings immediately capture employees' attention and make pages feel more personal. So to add the greetings to our page, let's add Origami's Header Plus web part and type our welcome message there. The Header Plus web part allows you to select custom font, color, and other options. Now, I'm going to go one step further and highlight employee name to make it stand out. This is how your welcome headline will look once you publish this home page. So far, so good. Step two. Here I want to give employees easy access to frequently used systems like Workday, Salesforce, and so on. Each company has their own applications they use here. But one thing we've seen from Page Analytics is that users click on these top links the most. To create these links, I can use SharePoint Quick Links web part that's available to everyone out of the box. But many customers tell us these links look a bit dated. In 2024, links have this glass tile look and the system icons help employees instantly find what they need. These links are actually from Origami Quick Links Plus web part. When you add it, simply go to the web part's properties to add new links and select icons. And you're done. Here's how the page looks when you publish it. This page is getting better by the minute, but what it really needs is some actual content. After years of building SharePoint pages, we see that most successful SharePoint homepages have these three pieces of content, corporate news and calendar, employee social, and resource directory. So how do I fit all that without making my page too long? Because nobody likes to scroll. Let me show you how. In step three, I'll start by adding my corporate news web part. Here is a fun fact about news. I listen to executives coming to our demo calls all day every day, and many say they started intranet redesign just so their corporate comps look more alive. SharePoint News web part can show you news feed, but the design options can be pretty limited. There is also no easy way to comment or like posts right from the homepage, and news categories can take ton of time to maintain. So for my SharePoint homepage, I'll use Origami News Center web part that lets you do all that in a user-friendly and clutter-free way. Let's add it to the page. You see, I can have my news displayed all at once and organized based on categories that can be changed by the comms team. I can like, comment, or reply to my coworkers and do all that without leaving the page. Now we just need a corporate calendar to keep my events. Personally, I don't think I've ever seen a SharePoint homepage without a calendar. So this is a must, everyone is using it. Let's add it here. The reason I'm using this origami calendar and not Manila SharePoint events web part is because with origami calendar, you can see this month view and it tells you right away the dates with events. This events can come from multiple sites and show neatly in a single view here based on permissions. I can also tag and color code my events. It's brilliant and saves me tons of space on the page. All right. We have corporate communications. 
But what about employee social? Social is the huge reason why people come to pages. But here's the thing. If you add random social web part like Microsoft Viva, it can seem so complicated with so many options that it can quickly become a dumping ground. But here is something interesting we've noticed at Origami. Seeing hundreds of intranets just last year, we saw that most social posts are about employee celebrations and shout outs. This is how successful companies build employee culture and celebrate their people. So in my step number four, I'll use Origami Kudos web part was specifically built for this. Here you can send a shout out to one colleague or a group and others can like the post. You can also easily moderate or archive older posts. Super simple. And for milestones, I'll use this origami anniversaries web part that tracks employee milestones each year, reminding about special occasions and tenures. The page is becoming so lively. I love it. Finally, in step five, I'm going to organize the rest of my important homepage content on the page. A bit of a context here. Many of our customers are financial institutions and they always have lots of forms and resources on their pages. These resources are necessary, but they can make my pages way too long and nobody likes to scroll. Lots of companies have this problem. We've designed this web part called Origami Tabs specifically to solve this problem. And here's how. Instead of having bits of links and some text scattered around the page, I can have them neatly organized in tabs by categories or a topic, like this. Each tab has its own set of links with descriptions, and it's super simple to find things. You can use this on almost any page in SharePoint. Here is how easy it is to add content. I can simply go to the web part properties and from here I can add my tabs and links under them. Let's click add remove cards and you can instantly edit each card content and select which tab they will show on. Okay, I think my page is good to go now. Let's click publish to see how it looks. So much better. And that's how I design a perfect SharePoint Internet homepage in five steps.